Hello everyone, welcome back to Knit Crow Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to knit this beautiful cowl. This cowl is very easy to make. If you know how to knit and how to purl, you can make this cowl. And I have free written pattern. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I use two colors of Lime Brand Wooly's Thick and Quick. This is number 6 Super Bulky Yarn. And here's my color A. Wooly's Thick and Quick. In each ball, it has 106 yards or 97 meter. Number 6 Super Bulky Yarn. Sorry about this. <laughs> And this one in color, butter squash. And I use about 100 yards for color A. I just have a little bit left, okay? And this is my color B. This is line brand, woolies, thick and quick stripes. In each ball, it has 87 yards or 80 meter. And I use about 35 yards. This is super bulky number six yarn. This one in color County Island. And knitting needle. This is US 11 8 millimeter knitting needle. This is circular needle 24 inches. And we're gonna knit in round, okay? And also scissors, yarn needle, and stitch marker. Okay, I'm gonna cast on 68 stitches. And in that cast on that we make, gonna be the circumference of the cow. If you want smaller cow, make less cast on. If you want a bigger cow, make more cast on. Easy peasy. And I'm gonna use long tail cast on for that. If you don't know how to make a long tail cast on, I have step-by-step -step video tutorial. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. So yeah, I have my tail here. Make sure you have enough tail for long tail cast on. And after that, make a slip knot and then insert the needle into that slip knot. That count as first stitch. And yeah, I'm gonna cast on 68 stitches. Yes, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I will be back when I have sixty eight stitches. Okay, now I have sixty eight stitches here. And then we're gonna join in a round. We're gonna knit in round. But before you join, make sure your stitches is not twisted. Make sure the edge is on the inside like that. Okay, it's very important. And then the working yarn is on the right needle. And then round one, we're gonna knit every stitches. You can also place the stitch marker before you join the round as well totally up to you. So for me, I know this is the end. I can see the tail. Or you can just, you know, attach in the stitch marker into the first stitch there. Whatever you prefer. Okay, I'm gonna knit. So I'm gonna knit the first stitch here. And then knit the next stitch. Knit the next stitch. Knit the next stitch. For the first few round, the stitches gonna be a little tight here. But don't worry, after you pass those few round, it'll be better. Okay? So yeah, I'm gonna knit around until I reach the end here and I will be back. Okay, I'm at the end of round one here. 
Here's what it looks like. And round two, we're gonna purl or stitches. So to purl, bring the yarn on the front like that and purl. Purl the next stitch. Purl the next stitch and purl. Alright, I'm gonna keep purl every stitches around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round two. I'm at the end of round two here. Here's what it looks like. And now you're just gonna keep repeating round one and round two over and over. So I'm gonna repeat round one and round two until I have 36 rounds total okay so just remind you <laughs> round one is knit round two is purl and then you're gonna repeat that next row you're gonna knit next row you're gonna purl gonna knit purl knit purl knit purl like that okay I'm gonna show you a little bit on round three here so round three we repeat round one we're gonna knit All right, easy peasy. I gonna keep repeating round one and round two until I have 36 rounds total and I will be back. Okay, now I have 36 rounds total. This is the end of round 36. And for round 37, I gonna change color to my color B here. And then we gonna knit. Okay, and to change color, I'm gonna bring the color B up like that, hold like this, make a loop like this. All right, and then I'm gonna knit the first stitch with color B here. See, like that. And then knit into each stitch around okay and see this tail i'm just gonna cut the color a because i'm not gonna use it anymore Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to whip in the end later. And then we can, you know, tie this end up later. Alright, I'm gonna knit around with color B. And for this part, if you just want one color, you don't have to add a new yarn. Just keep going with one color. So for me, I think two colors is pretty beautiful. So yeah, I'm gonna knit into each stitch around. I will be back when I'm at the end of round 37 here okay I'm at the end of round 37 here here's what it looks like and then for round 38 to round 46 I gonna repeat round 37 which is knit so from now on we just gonna knit until we reach the end of round 46 okay fairly easy so knit a little loose because the first stitch we can tie it later here okay just keep knitting all right I'm just gonna keep knitting until I reach the end of round 46 and I will be back okay now I'm at the end of round 46 here and if you want a taller cow just knit okay just knit more round if you want taller so for me I think 46 round is perfect and then next I gonna buy off 
So to buy off, I gonna knit the first stitch and then knit the next stitch and then pass the first stitch that we knit over the second stitch that we knit up and over like that okay and then knit the next stitch and then pass the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch like that so knit the next stitch and then pass the inside stitch up and over the outside stitch like that just repeat that around so make sure don't buy off too tight okay I'll show you a few more times here so knit the next stitch and then pass the um, inside stitch up and over the outside stitch and then knit the next stitch pass the inside stitch up and over outside stitch Okay, I'm at the end here. Just gonna cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end. And then I'm just gonna pull the yarn out like that. Yay! And then weave the end. I bring my yarn needle here, insert my tail into my yarn needle, and then weave the end. So I'm just gonna insert into the next stitch here just to make this hole close <laughs> close up this hole and then i insert back into the last stitch that we bind off here in the middle there bring it in like that and then hide the tail Like that, and then you can trim the tail, and you're done. Beautiful. And then weep this in as well when we start it. And that's it. Easy peasy. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy making this beautiful knitted cow. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitclawaddict. I'm going to put all the links in the description below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.